in our experiment, our experiment shows that uh, the recovery time is actually uh, not related to the duration of the attack. Therefore, even for long-lasting attacks, our system can detect uh, attack and uh, take a responsive action within a one or two minutes. Okay, conclusions. Uh, we presented a distributed approach for end-to-end -end accountability in grid systems. Also, uh, we introduced the concept of accountability agents performing a wide range of information, gathering and keeping track of similar jobs and users. We also discussed about different kinds of denial of service attacks that could exploit grid and propose a detection and protection uh, mechanisms based on accountability agents. Also from the experiment we showed uh, the accountability uh, enabled grid computing system uh, effectively detects and protects uh, the current denial of service attacks. Okay, any questions? Yes. Um, you said that in your test bed 210 seconds was the optimal time. Would mm -hmm. that would that be the same in a larger grid or grids with different capabilities, or is, do you have like an algorithm to determine the the optimal time? Or yeah, actually, uh, this one comes from these uh, equations. Right. So, because the amulet test bed doesn't uh, allow uh, to shut down the rear. Uh, uh, to rear a queue from the PBS server. So we only assume that the size, the maximum size of the queue is uh, 35. We assume that if the uh, 35 jobs are queued in a certain queue, in a PBS queue, we consider that it is, is feared, it's fully feared. So from the uh, measurement of the rate of rate of incoming jobs and the rate of execution. Uh, so we calculated 210 seconds from these equations. It will be, it'll be different from, from uh, in case of other uh, situations. But yeah, these equations is uh, just a recommendation for the, in terms of administrators by estimating uh, the rate of incoming, uh, incoming jobs by attackers and then measuring the execution times. And then, because we know the number of the compute nodes and the we, number of, we know the number of uh, uh, the maximum size of a queue, we can calculate the possible time window from these equations. Do you have any other question? Okay. Okay, thank you.